Hey guys, long time no see. Um, so I thought I'd do just a short one today um, about the Japanese language and how much you should know and all that jazz. So when I came to Japan, I had technically taken Japanese classes in college, um, but I can honestly say that all I had with me was the basic greetings, you know, good morning, good evening, good night. Um, and kind of how to say I liked something or that something was delicious. Um, <laughs> not because my teachers failed me, but because um, it had been maybe three years since those classes. And obviously, you don't exactly use Japanese in your everyday American life. So what I'm trying to tell you is, when you come to Japan, you don't actually need Japanese when you get here. Your whole purpose for being here is to speak English. They want you to speak English. In the beginning, they won't mind the fact that you can't speak any Japanese. They don't expect you to speak any Japanese. They want you just to talk in English. However, it makes it difficult to make friends, to get on some kind of level with your coworkers, even the ones that aren't part of your English classes. So my recommendation for you is to kind of start. You know, if you're able to start studying before you come to Japan because you know ahead of time when you're going to be here, I really do recommend that you pick up a book or a CD or something just to kind of get yourself familiar with the basics because that's going to be really, really helpful for you and it'll make everybody much more comfortable. Um, the Japanese are going to do something amazing which is be polite. <laughs> They're going If they notice that you are an English speaker, um, they're going to talk to you in English. In general, they might just assume because you're a foreigner you speak English, too. Don't get offended by this. This is just them trying to accommodate you. Um, but in that same respect, you should be trying to accommodate them. It's not your home country. It's their country. Um, so it's their language. You gotta kind of turn the table. Stop thinking about it as English is my language, thus everyone has to speak it. Think of it as, this is the country that I'm in, this is the language that they speak. I should really try to use that language. I should really try to work with them instead of forcing them to work with me. Um, I know it's kind of a difficult concept when you, if you've never been abroad, if you've never gone anywhere um, outside of the U.S. or outside of whatever country you're in, um, and you've never had to communicate with somebody who doesn't speak a single word of your own language, or if they do, it's really badly done, and it's no fault of their own. Um, if they don't use English or whatever language you speak in their daily lives, how are they gonna or know how to use it properly? Um, I've been very fortunate. Um, though this isn't Tokyo, Sano has been really wonderful. Um, the people are great. They, they for the most part, <laughs> they've been really patient with me. What I'm saying is not just with Japan, if you're going to move to a foreign country, do your absolute best to try to use that country's language, whether it's English, Arabic, French, Japanese, Chinese, whatever it is. Don't expect them to know your language. Don't expect everyone to accommodate you. Just really try. Um, even if you've got one of those phrase books and you're stuttering it out at a very slow painstaking pace and your accent is probably horrid. The fact is you're making an effort and you're trying to accommodate them instead of forcing them to accommodate to your language and that's really important and that's going to make you get so many friends because they're going to see that you're putting effort into this relationship um, even if it's just as acquaintances. They're going to see that they're going to be amazed and they're going to be so impressed and they're, they're gonna want to help you. So. Do your best, Gamare. You can do it. Alright, so I'll talk to you guys later. Um, if you have any questions, comments, things you want to know about Japan, I'm trying to get back on the bandwagon of checking the mail and stuff like that. Um, I'm still having trouble getting it to tell me when I've gotten mail. Um, so I apologize now, but please comment. Um, Google Plus, whatever. I've got a Twitter too, though I forget about it often. <laughs>
just there's a whole bunch of ways to communicate with me and I, I really I really want your questions um, I'd really like to answer anything that you have but I've been here for two years um, I'm not I don't consider myself a true veteran but I think I've I know enough that I can help you start out so I'll talk to you guys later bye